Hi guys. So today we're going to be doing a Steve's Leaves unboxing. You'll have to excuse my dog. With everything I say, he gets flustered. So you'll hear his paws walking around. But anyways, we will get right into it. This is the biggest Steve's Leaves order that I have ever made. I've never gotten a box this big. So this ought to be fun. Um, I've never definitely, I've definitely never had this big of a haul before. Um, let's see. They had did have to combine my orders because I did make three separate orders because I did. Um, I did make three separate uh, transactions. So Kim did my order and as I've told you guys, I've gotten boxes from Kim and she's amazing. So love Kim. So I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six begonias in this box or supposedly in this box. So there's my invoice. We got our little Steve's Leaves card. And we'll just hop right on in. As always, everything comes amazingly packaged. And starting off with the first one, this is a begonia. It says gunmetal. So I saw that Rachel has this um, begonia, Rachel from Heart Shaped Leaves. And she has a huge one. So this is how mine came. It looks so cute. It has these immature leaves, um, but it looks so cute. I love it. So that is Begonia Gunmetal. Frazier, can, can you sit, please? He's eating. He knocked over his food because knocked over his food when I told you guys hey um, and now he's eating it off of the ground so next up is a begonia that I've never actually seen in person this is Steve's leaves midnight skies so this is one of the um, hybrids that they made um, right before Halloween I think and it has like these curly leaves and it looks like almost black. It's a gorgeous burgundy with, um, it looks like silver flecking. And this looks amazing. I love this. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. And the burgundy like petals. Oh, I love this one. This is so beautiful. I love that. And it's supposed to, I told you guys it, it's supposed to curl, right? So that's pretty. I love that. That's the Midnight Skies. And just to let you all know that these are all going to be begonias. Um, I tried to go for ones that are not as fussy um, as I pull out the next begonia. <laughs> so, okay. This one I've had before. Um, so it's a Melabolata, right? Okay. So I've had this one before. I've unboxed this one before. And it kind of looks bigger than the one that I unboxed from last time. But, okay, guys. The reason I got this one again was... I, I was doing experimenting. I experiment with my plants. I'll be the first one to say it. Um, and so I was experimenting with this one. It was doing great outside of a cloche. It was thriving. I was like, okay, so we're jamming. So I put this one into Lekka <laughs> to see how it would do. And it definitely slowly declined. It dropped leaf by leaf until it was a stump. And I was like, okay, so let me try and repropagate this. 
it was too far gone. So I lost that one. <laughs> My bad. So I won't be doing that again. And but I felt like I still needed this one in my collection and it's just a lovely, lovely. It looks, really? Oh, gosh. Could you be any more of a louder drinker? All right, so this one looks like, I don't know, it can have chocolate chips on top of the leaves. It's just so pretty. I love this one. So I needed it back in my collection and that's exactly why I bought it again. So here we are. Next step. Alrighty. So this one, I was very unsure whether I was actually going to pull the trigger and get this one, but obviously I ended up getting it and let's hope that I don't regret it. So, are you okay? Please don't throw up. Please don't throw up. Saw so that drinking real fast. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is Madame O'Reilly and this one is a really cute begonia. It's, it has like these smaller leaves. I'm not sure if they actually get a little bit bigger, but the leaves are actually burgundy with like a lime green center. And um, the actual leaf petioles are like a tan color with red, red hairs on it so that one's a pretty cool one I like that one that's cute so that's a Madame O'Reilly Begonia Madame O'Reilly and guys I'm really taking the plunge with this one huh I'm so proud of me you should be proud of me too let's hope these live okay so this one I'm really excited about because I'm actually going to be doing some experiments with this one. I'm pretty confident in this one um, simply because of what it is. Okay, so this one is Begonia Taco Night. So this is the one, it's supposed to have like a, a royal blue uh, flash on it um, if you flash a light on it. So this one is actually hardy to my zone. So I'm going to propagate this one and try and grow it outside and see how it does. So um, it's hardy to zone seven, which I'm in zone seven. So I'm really excited about this one. I feel like we're going to have a lot of fun with this one. So that is Begonia Taco Night. It's so pretty. It's so cute. I love it. Okay, so we're down to the last begonia. We have one, two, three, four, five. We're right on track. This is the sixth one. And this one I've also never seen. Um, ooh, it has a little bit of algae on the tag. Does that mean that it's needy? If it's needy, I just already know we're not gonna get along. And I never order any of the begonias that, um... okay, so Steve's Leaves has a 30 day trial um, on all of, or, or on most of their plants. So on the ones that they don't, which need, means it's needy, I don't, I don't make an order for those. If they can only, guarantee a live arrival I no it's a no for me dog but this one let's see how this one does so this is begonia lotus land lotus land and this one kind of looked like a silvery begonia look at the backs y'all isn't that beautiful I love that 
um, but it looked very silvery when I was on the website. So we'll see if it grows into that. Kind of looked like a, like a, oh, it's cold. It's ice cold, guys. It is ice cold. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we'll bring this one right into the house. Hopefully it does good. Um, I hope this box was not in anywhere like super cold because that would suck if my plants died from coldness or cold scorching and cold sores. What? Okay, anyways. Yes, I love them all. I feel like I made some good choices on them um and we shall see how it goes okay I thought it was a mealy bug y'all I was about to lose it okay all right we're not it's not it's I think it was just pro light but yeah here is them again so this is the two There's two more. And here's the last two. Okay guys, that is all I have for you as far as uh, an unboxing. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure to comment down below which one was your favorite. Um, what begonia overall is your most favorite from Steve's Leaves? I wanna know, let me know. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to like and subscribe and Make sure you turn on the bell notification so you get notified every time I post a video. So I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.